Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,354. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1,354, so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got a great video here. We got to see how to rank with conditions or criteria. In particular, we're going to rank football teams by total wins and division wins. Now, here's our football teams. Here's the total wins. But you can see right here, New York Giants, SF St. Louis, and Minnesota all have eight wins. So if we rank them, we want to also use the secondary condition, division wins. Now, I've already sorted the data set, so this is the perfect order. Whatever ranking New York Giants would be, San Francisco would be next. And then St. Louis and Minnesota, because they're tied, would get the following rank. Now, no problem. We need to rank on two different columns. We can simply use the rank if function. Now, there is no rank if function. So we're stuck with these three ranks. Now, rank.average and equivalent came in Excel 2010. Rank was an older function. Now, rank is the same exact function as dot equivalent, but they added dot average as a new function in 2010. So they wanted to keep with this dot convention. So they replicated what's called a compatibility function and gave it an extension equivalent. Average, of course, will average if there's a tie, and equivalent just assigns the same rank for each. We're going to start by looking at rank.equivalent. Now, the number, that's the relative cell reference number of wins to rank, comma. The reference, that's all the numbers to compare against. I need to hit the F4 key to lock that, comma. And then order argument descending or ascending. Now, we want most wins to be first, so we're going to use descending by putting a 0, close parentheses. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now, just as dot equivalent would suggest, when it gets to a tie here, they all get the same rank. And that's not what we want. Since we're looking at division wins as our second condition, this should be 7. This should not be 7. It should be 8. In essence, we need to add 1 there because there's one person above San Francisco. When we get down to St. Louis and Minnesota, this should not be tied for 7. It should be 9 and 9. The reason is, is that St. Louis has two people above them. So to the 7, we need to add 2, which is 9. And same with Minnesota. Now, we're actually going to amend that formula. We'll add a little formula element to the end of this to, in essence, give us a 0 here, a 1 here, a 2, and a 2. Those are the numbers we need to add to 7s to get our 7, 8, 9, and 9. Now let's delete that. And we're going to use the count ifs function. Now we're going to have two conditions. And our first criteria range will be the wins column. And I'm going to use the F4 key to lock that, comma. The condition is. I need to see how many records have eight wins. Now, that's a relative cell reference that will change as we go up and down, comma. The second condition is the division wins column, F4 to lock it. And our condition will be how many division wins are greater than the four for this record. Now, I had to put the comparative operator in double quotes and join it with the ampersand to that relative cell reference. Now notice the count ifs function does an and logical test. So when I ask how many of these records have eight and how many have greater than four divisional wins, the answer is 0. In essence, it could only possibly ask the question of these four records where there are eight wins. So that is our formula. Close parentheses, Control Enter. And let's just double click and send it down. And look at that. That is exactly what we need, 0, 1, 2, and 2. Now this one, when countifs asks the question, it says, how many records are 8 and how many are greater than 3? Well, there's only one. 
when it got down to here, the question is, how many have eight wins and division wins greater than two? One, two. So that's the little formula element we can use to add to our rank dot equivalent. Now I'm going to copy this up, then go get my rank in edit mode. I'm going to highlight it, control C, escape, and then put this in edit mode. And right after the equal sign, I'm going to control V and plus. There it is, our ranking plus that extra little bit. Actually, we could have put the rank at the end also, but there you go. Control Enter, double click and send it down. And you got to be kidding me. Look at that perfect rank, 7, 8, 9, and 9. Not only that, but down here for this tie, we get 12 and 13. And this one is 14, 14, because yes, they're tied with five wins, but they both had one divisional win. All right, that was a lot of fun with ranking with two conditions for football total wins and division wins using rank.equivalent and count ifs. All right, we'll see you next video.